But I don't even remember what I was doing last time. It's been a while. Um, what's it say? It's been 23 because it's locked. So where's that game that I used to, uh, that ball game thing? Oh, it's here. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll do that later. Oh, I had another message I missed. Ah, thought you'd never ask. Shall we begin? Uh, yeah. Of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. I had another row message, but, um, you know. I accidentally interrupted it by talking to whoever this is. I need... Hold on, I can't see your turn right now, because uh, I didn't have Aki on my bar. Oh, you fucked it. I'll go and hit it. Oh, imagine it bouncing all the way back to one. You planned that, did you? Yeah, sure. So obviously it's planned, right? Gonna go straight through it. No. Like a glove. Sting me with a billy wig. I'll never top that. Fuck's a billy wig. Is that like a is that like a wasp? Hogwarts wasp, was it? Good shot. Precisely as planned. Yeah. That landed on 30 before. That's no shot. I'm not getting this side. That's way too risky. I'm just going to carry on going this side if I can. Akio. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Pretty much good now. As long as I get a 30. Well, if I get 30 and she gets 50, we draw. So, it's actually wrong. Just landed the same. It's still rolling. Surely she loses 10 points for that. I get it. Concentrate, Charlotte. That was horrible. I don't even have to... Doesn't matter what I do, I win, right? Might as well try this side. Oh, it's going to hit it, but it shouldn't bounce off. Oh, that was a good hit. Is that 50 or a 30? Oh, I know. I know. You got unlucky with the bounces. So I'll, I'll give you that one. <laughs> I'm not too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I practice as much as I can. Practice, eh? I suppose I could try that. Well, you've only... Probably a good idea, yeah. ...left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. Okay, yeah, I look forward to kicking his ass then. Right, let's go see that Nazi or whatever it is. Um, she said meet her outside Hogsmeade, so she's there. We might as well go here. Seems like the closest place. I give up. Give up saying anything to her. She just, she just doesn't shut up. We should give mute her in the in the uh, options app. Right? I, I don't think anyone lived there, mate. It's a field. Right, what's here? Oh, I don't like these things. I could take them to sell them. Uh, oh, I am tempted, you know. No, I can't be asked to see her capturing them. I don't care enough. When I find like really cool creatures, I'll capture them, but I don't like them. I think they're shit. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Yeah, all right. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will have 
Wait, are they are they in here or are they they're in here, okay. Isn't Hawks that's Hawks head? Isn't that in here? I don't know. I need to go get that broom upgrade, but I don't actually have any money. Upstairs. I'll see shit. Oh yeah. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Why is she in the attic? What are you doing up here? What have I done? Mrs. Rape. I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vault. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. I'll try not to, but uh, danger is my middle name. Uh, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs and giving it. Oh, it's just the, uh, it's worth hanging on to. just what you. she said. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickles are the two friends. Well, they're not in here, clearly, so let's get out of here. Keep saying I'm glad I came, but I'm, I can't help you right now. I'm busy. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check. Please tell me you didn't take Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm. All right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. Voldemort. Behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? How did he find it then if you didn't give him? daughter you see we've been well secretly engaged these past six months we haven't told mr hill yet but i dare say he has higher hopes for her harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with rosie not to mention my employment here depended upon my cooperation what does he ask you to do it all happened so quickly in an instant he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love Let's nothing get him. more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Oh well. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Revelio. Where were they? They're what? on the right track. I was going to say what he's selling if he's so close. Mr. Bickle's friends. I'm actually tempted to have a look. Um, I'm actually going to grab this chest. Because I need the gold.
mine. There we go, we're rich now. Well, I'm not. But... Do I have enough, actually? Stop. Have a tea. Definitely. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Definitely been good looking for review gear. No, that's pretty gay, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to sell you all the stuff, though, actually, while I'm here. That's a good shout. I still don't have enough of my broom upgrade, though. Or do I? I might do. I can't remember how much it was, to be honest. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Oh, I thought I could jump their heads. That would have been a feat. Your child turned out to be a what? Hmm. Put them books down. Must be around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Look. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Uh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. And so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife... Dulcibella passed away. She had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprised Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Uh, cheers, uh, for not wasting my time. What's in here? As you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Yeah, I'll find her in a minute. Loot is more important to me right now. I might get my broom upgrade while I'm here. I can't think of anything else I need currently, so. Give me that. 25 gold. A hat. Some more gold. Is that all that's in it? Is there any arrows outside? It might be outside. Terrible. Why'd you even put a lock on that door, mate? Weren't worth it. Ah, oh, shit, it's one of them things. Give me this. Yoink. See? Now, why was he not in your locked house? Hmm? Can I go across that way? I'm not walking around if I can just jump down. Oh shit. Oh shit. I have this feeling that wasn't any quicker. I actually want to go get my broom upgrade. I don't know. Should I just go grab it? Hogs. Not Hogwarts. Hogsmeade. Which one's the broom upgrade? It's not this one, is it? It is, actually. Why is it greyed out? What? Uh, probably got to finish this quest before I can it's even do like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Gotta go back in anyway. Might as well check on my way through. 
Why is it two Willy Wonkers at the entrance? What's up, chicks? It's this one, isn't it? What are we looking for today? Uh, my broom upgrade. 4K. Oh, mate. You're ripping me off. Ripping me off, mate. That's what you're doing. Taking a piss. Um, I could sell some um, animals, but I don't really have any. Where's the animal seller, actually? Makes it sound illegal. I mean, is it illegal? Kidnap pets and give them to someone? Brood and peck. Yeah, actually. I won't be coming to you anytime soon, because that's far. Must be around here somewhere. Oh, come on. I bet she got kidnapped. Natty's wand. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She can cast She's without in it. Trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. She can cast without it. What's the point in having it? Revelio. Oh, there's loot here. Leaving all this gold behind. I wonder I'm poor. Hey, let me in, please. Hey, it's my broom upgrade money. Give it. Yeah, did you... She went this way then, mate, right? And you guys didn't think it was weird and stop her, no? We're going to have to go in here because I think there's a, one of my chests. Probably a different house again. She was taken through the front of the... Um, Hog's head, but no one noticed. Stopped it. Brilliant. Great people. Rebellion. Yeah, I know where the footsteps are. I don't care about them right now. Just want to get the loot. 47G. Oh, the eye chest wasn't even in here again. I can't pass it for it. No shit, man. Quickly. Ash... Ashwinder hideout. So close. No one's seen this before, no? No one. Oh, that's a weird looking basement. Let's have a look inside. It wasn't locked either. There must be another way forward. There obviously is another way forward, mate. Hold on a second. Oh, I keep. I have to keep pulling it. Okay. And then this one. There we go. Natty must have been taken this way. Oh, another TARDIS. To find her quickly. Actually, this is what Doctor Who was like. Everywhere you went was a TARDIS. Just wouldn't make it very rare. Leaving gold around. Don't mind if I do. I be sure I'm not seen. Say no more. What's that weird, like, magic barrier? No one's coming for her. Optional. Find Philbert's book of poems. Find Otto's Dibble's love letter. Um. I would like to find the optional ones. To be honest. What's the best way to do this? All right. I don't want to get caught in here. We may be working with the goblins Shit. for now, but soon. Shit. Hey, hey, nothing to see here, mate. Actually, that might be a good idea. Get them to come look for me. Get them. It's a, it's a bit risky. Was it upper or lower Hogsfield that we raided last week? I usually have that issue, upper and lower. A oh, fuck a dick. I believe I just did that. I sure I can. 
No, I'm happy. I'm dead. I was... What I don't understand is, I aimed at the floor next to them, and yet somehow... It hit him. Yeah, sure. Because I, I purposely wanted to do that, didn't I? Stupid is. Yeah, I've also got to pick up all these items again. It's a bullshit one. How am I supposed to get them away from each other? They're all just fiddling with each other. Uh, someone is coming for her. They're all looking at each other. Wasn't there a guy over there? There is a guy over there. Oh, he's miles away. He's not even in this room. Oh, God's sake. Bro, what? Where have you come from? This isn't going well at all. Why well, have I got these random spells on my bar? I need to... I need to sort out my spells. Like, half of them don't do shit. I don't want Flipendo. It's useful for purple shields, I guess, but... Oh, I don't want to do it. He must have been taken this way. Sure Stealth is fine in that, but when they're all inside each other, how am I supposed to deal with it? You keep saying that, and yet every time. Can I, like, bring him towards me? Oh, yeah. It happened again. I'm actually just going to move. There's only one down here, apparently. Wait, hold on. Why is he red? Am I too low level for this? I can't be right, because it usually tells you. Look, he's taking no damage. I'm actually going to leave? Not leave, leave, but... Why does he keep hitting a fucking wall? Where are you going, you little punk? Get back here. The hell was that? The hell? <laughs> Bitch. That other guy is way more HP than everybody else. Gone too far. You're the one running away, mate. Okay, that's just irritating. I have to just kite them away one at a time. Doesn't seem to matter how stealthy I want to be. That's bad. That took way longer than it needed to. But look at their levels. Level 30. How am I supposed to deal with this dude? Okay, well, he's dead. I guess that's how you deal with them. We good. Punk. Uh, you are dear. Is this the note? Yeah, there we go. Oh Jesus! No, 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 no. Yeah, I've made a grave mistake. I'm actually gonna leave, and I actually agree with you. Bye, bye.
Come stand on them. It's the first time I've actually used them, to be honest. Not the first time I've ever used them. It's that guy there that don't die. Everyone else is fine. Wait, what the shit? Go away, Sheila. Jesus. Bitch. Give me the sleep, please. It's, he don't die, mate. The hell happened? Nobody or what believe you just took out a whole camp. Yeah, I don't believe you and I was here. There's no chest there. That was uh, pretty irritating. Anything good? Chest piece. I don't want to pick everything up, but I can. This is uh, the knockback one, right? Do I have it on my bar or I've got a... Oh, I actually have the right spell on my bar. Amazing. That's the way I've got to go, but this has... Oh, hold on. Screw you. You're in my way and I can't actually be asked to... Uh, get you out of the way. So, Is it this way? I don't get to choose who I Okay, I'll get you out, mate. Mr. Raid. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke to my wife. How is she? Worried about you. He sounds mega young for a wife. Had to have a wife. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly. And we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. It's nearby. It. But it's in his pocket. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. Rebellion. How can she summon your wand? That's what I don't get. Must be blocked by something. Let me go have a little look, see. Now, this is the room I started in. And then we've got chests up here. Is it in a chest or do you reckon it's lead? Could be in a chest. Oh, Jesus. Why was that? Why was that purple? You read the last uh, letter over and over. And then certain to read it again. Also, Each hour. Oh, okay. You want me to destroy it? How do I do that? Love letter. Destroy. Is that right? Is that how you do it? No, I assume so. Anyway. Hello, goat. Why does a goat go invisible when I do that? Oh, can you actually... Hold on. Let's get rid of this thing. Press the wrong button constantly. It look... Oh, I don't know. Don't care enough. Get this thing out of the way. Why? 
It's just constant. What is it doing? Get out of the way. I mean, I know there's one probably ending here, but might as well have a look. I want to use the dodge thing. Let me use it. There we go. Where would his wand be? Where is it marked his wand? There's no way. I didn't, well, I've just not seen it this whole time. I was in here. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Why are you leaving Wand in the same room as the guys you've locked? That seems like a really bad idea. Mr. Rape's Wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Here you go. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. If I, can I just stand here instead? Oh yeah, that, that reacted really badly, that did. Really badly. Just a back. Are we going to stand here and talk or should we just leave? My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to separate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find officer. To separate. Anna. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Why can't I do that? Yeah, but why? Oh my goodness, why can't we do what he just did? Why fight? We can just teleport away. It's making sense. Get away, rats. Burn you alive. He, I, I'm baffled how he's able to teleport and I have to run. What? You'd think of all the things you'd use magic for, it'd be to not have to walk anywhere. Anywho. Do you have enough proof? Because like saying he did something and not being able to prove it doesn't really hold up in court. Oh, there she is. That was quick. Nuts I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. I was going to reach Hogwarts and kill someone. Watch. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. I should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashfinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you... I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Um, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. I got one word. Bitch. Never telling you anything again. If I was given the choice, I wouldn't have helped Hogsmeade, you anyway. Here I come. What am I going to Hogsmead for? I'm already in Hogsmead. Where am I going? Huh? Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? 
They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am. At the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moonwood and Mr. Student, too cowardly to do it himself, huh, hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much, even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were an inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. I don't know if he did, though. The man behind the moons, read mail. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me, and I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie Berkeley. We're just leaving for our honeymoon, after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Uh, good luck, mate. I just spoke to this guy. What's he got a thing above his head? See that one? I haven't spoke to her since that dragon, so. Uh, where is she? Forbidden Forest, of course she is. Could be anywhere on the map. And you choose to be in the one place you're not allowed. Speed! This doesn't seem very fast, even though I had an upgrade on. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Oh, this is, oh I'm, okay, it's this, yeah. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What do you think you're doing here, human? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Be 
Leave them be, Eric. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Scissors are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Okay. We have permission. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the huh. journal doesn't refer to actual mm -hmm. moons, but to a moonstone. To a moonstone. Do have to do with snidgets? And why no idea. is he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Rand. Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. So, I'm waiting on I'll you again. What I find. Yep. Okay. See you later then. So, where am I going then? Where's this marker? Why does he keep marking random shit? Fox meat again, isn't it? Man behind the moons. Talk to club with me. He's not there, though, is he? I already picked up and handed these in off ages ago. Um. I'll go check. But I'm pretty sure this is that dude from before. If not, I know where he is in Hogsmeade. See, it's the same dude. Hmm. I know where he is, though. So if we go Hogwarts, I think he's in the... I don't know which one of these it is. Is it always the last one? There's no way. Facility tar. Faculty tar. Whichever one. It's always the last one I check when I come here. I talk to you. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied. Piers Pemberton. Oh, my unknown. Pigtails Piers. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Mm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtail. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend. All right, is that it then? See, 
that might be it the man behind the moons yes it's not here Talk to... no idea what that is oh this is that's the um the, the dueling thing return to arm I forgot about that. Have I used the potions? I might have already used them. I think I've already used... No, these aren't even potions. How do I check? I remember. Um... Visibility versions. Okay, well, let's go deliver them then. Because I haven't actually used them. Which is good, I guess. World map. Sakeen Bridge. I assumed I'd used them. I don't know when or why, but. Looks like a place right out of a storybook. The pippin should have been here by now. Yeah, ages ago. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. So I'm not delivering three potions. I'm delivering two. Because you want me to drink it. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Um, I don't actually know. You can actually have some stuff from me. Give me your money. This will do just fine. Thank you. Oh, I'm so close to 4K. Let's sell this one. I want to see what it is. Ah, oh, do I sell it? Yeah, I don't care enough. Got exactly 4k now, so I can get my broom upgrade. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'll go back to Hogsmeade anyway, because I want to do my broom upgrade, and I want to talk to that dude. Um, He's over there, but my broom grade upgrade's here, so I'm going to go here. Hopefully my broom will be quicker again. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah, every single time I come here, you say that. Again, wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade. For Bang. Thank That's you a special you price. price. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but you'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Rays is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really. What with rumours of Ramrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right. I think. Yes, yeah, right. I risk my life. I'm not worried, Mister Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. 
Uh, yeah, no worries. I will actually go do that before I end. So perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. Speak with Imelda Ray. Problem is, I wanted to speak to the potion dude first. I can't leave a quest half assed. I need to go finish it and hand it in. Because I still need to level up before I can continue with the main story, which I won't be doing now till next time, but you never know. I'll go speak to Imelda the moment I hand this in. Do a race. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Lawang. Very good. Fatima Lawang. Uh, what a name? You any trouble. Um, she's certainly difficult. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help, and at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Uh, thanks, Pippin. Anyway. Um, thanks for that. It's an experience, to say the least. Adventure, are we? Right. Where was I? Um Is is the broom quicker? I can't tell. I like, genuinely I can't tell if it's quicker or not. But when I fly down and I get that little boost of speed. Yeah, it's quicker, but every broom is. I don't know. Maybe like the last upgrade is where it's at. Seems really slow still. I don't really get this dodge button though. So if it's better to tap it or to hold it. Abandoned long ago in the dust. No, not really. Cause someone just targeted me, mate. So it can't be abandoned. Get it? Someone's there. Yeah. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's the race, isn't it? Why did I not hear a word of that letter? Hello again, Imelda. God, I love this, this girl. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> get ready to lose. You say that every time. And yet, I beat you by like a minute. Which is a lot. I'm a bit dodgy on a broom, though, to be honest. I'm assuming that's her there. Flying, if I do say so myself. Brilliant. You do say so yourself, yeah, because I feel like that wasn't very good. I'd like to stop holding the boost button because it's making me go out of control. That was horrible. That was genuinely awful. It's really hard to control sometimes. I need these balloons, but I can't be asked to get them right now. Now that's more like it. Twenty-nine rings. That wasn't too difficult. Concentration.
I don't think I'm gonna do it, you know? I don't know what, I just had this weird feeling. Made it. Come on. Itchy nose. Got a balloon out of that as well. Should get, I should get extra points for that. Yeah, shit on it. I was driven to a bridge. I didn't even see that. That's um, that's cheating as well. As I'm supposed to know. I'm supposed. To... That was awful as well. Oh, that again. That that bridge is really throwing me off. Not quite Harry Potter at this, but um, one more ring. We're plenty of time. It won't be like uh, I smashed a record, but that's because I, uh, that's some really dodgy runs there. Okay. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. You're an asset to our house. Um, you take care of yeah. yourself. Thanks. Yeah, sure, you're right. Okay, I think I'll leave it there. As always, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.